Happy New Year and welcome to this 2015 edition of Good News in Schools. Hey Matt, did you enjoy winter break? You know I did, Vicky, and it was even more enjoyable because of this great news. It's undeniable that we are moving in the right direction um, as a school system. It is a day to celebrate. 74%, the highest graduation rate in Duval County Public Schools history. You heard that right. Duval County Public Schools has earned its highest graduation rate ever. What a testament to all of our students, teachers, principals, and administrators' hard work. Dr. Vitti shared the news in a press conference with the media right before winter break. He was joined by Board Chair Cheryl Grimes, Board Vice Chair Ashley smith Juarez, and several principals of schools that earned significant milestones. For instance, in just one year, Sandalwood High School went from a B to an A. To learn more about what the district has improved on, visit DuvalSchools.org and look for the latest news. How cool is that? Thanks, Matt. Now let's head over to the Prime Osborne Convention Center for something I think is always worth celebrating, food. Really, Vicki? You're celebrating food. Oh, absolutely. We're talking about the first ever Duval County Public Schools food show hosted in partnership with our district's food provider, Chartwells. This show gave over 1,500 students from 30 schools the chance to sample and provide feedback on food being considered for next year's breakfast and lunch menus. Mmm, mmm, now that looks good. Over 30 vendors served up some delicious eats, and as you can imagine, these students had no problem sharing their opinions. And now I get to say what I like and what I do don't like. I say that um, <clears throat> some of the things that we try here, they should be on the menu. Each student who participated filled out a survey. Chartwell's representatives say they'll take a look at the most popular votes and from there look at pricing and distribution options. And in case you were wondering, all of the food served at the expo meets the latest regulations. Oh wow, Vicki, now I see why you're so excited. Told you. All right, all right. Now to our next story, which is over at Frank H. Peterson Academies of Technology. Students were greeted with a special guest who hails all the way from the state capitol. That is Florida Representative Manny Diaz Jr. Dr. Vitti led the representative on a tour of the high school, visiting classrooms and observing students and teachers in action. Representative Diaz says he wanted to visit the district to learn more about the ways in which he says students are showing improvement. That includes the district's recently released FCAT retake scores. Sometimes these are the groups that get forgotten after they take the test the first time. Uh, people don't realize that these, these kids still have to pass the test in order to graduate and it affects your graduation rates directly. So this is incredible work that they're doing here to make sure that those kids that you know took a swing and miss on the first opportunity are getting a second chance and making sure they, they get their diploma and go on to whatever they want, career or whatever schooling they want to go on to. Sounds great and thanks for the visit. For our next story, we're calling all student videographers and journalists. We want you to know about a great video contest coming at you from C-SPAN. You may remember the C-SPAN bus visiting our district last year. They're all about engaging students in current events and making sure they understand how the government works. You have a chance to enter their student cam competition by creating a video with the theme, The Three Branches and You. You have until January 20th to apply. To learn more about the contest and rules, go to www.studentcam.org. Speaking of great opportunities, you don't want to miss the 2015 School Choice Expo, a free, fun, and informative event taking place on Saturday, January 10th from 11 to 3 p.m. at the Prime Osborne Convention Center. Be there for a chance to check out all of our schools and learn more about their programs and offerings. I know I'll be there. So will I. And we hope to see all of you there, too. Now, before we head out, we want to remind you to check out our latest episode of our award-winning show, Real School. In fact, some of the stories you just watched were featured in our first episode of the new year. For more exclusive footage or for a mid-season catch-up, head to DuvalSchools.org and look for the communications page under Departments. Woo! That was a lot of good information. And a lot of good news. Aha, I see what you did there. Pretty clever, right? Well, from both of us, thanks for watching, and we'll catch up with you again in the February edition. Till then, have a great day.